Let's talk about your heart in addressing this. You say, uh, we feel like we are writing with both tears in our eyes and a sword in our hand. One comparison I could make is when there's some sort of a, like a pandemic, you want to fight that disease because you care about the people who could be hurt by it. Mm -hmm. So you have tears in your eyes for the people who might be harmed by it. Yeah. But you're going to throw everything you have at curing it, stopping it, you know, that kind of thing. So I think deconstruction is kind of like that disease. Okay. You're going to pull out your sword and do everything you can do to stop it from robbing people of their faith. Yeah. But at the same time, you have tears in your eyes for the people who are so confused yeah. by the deconstructionists online and the propaganda machine that the social media space is. Yeah. So I think that was, that was really kind of what we meant. And it also, that was springboarded off of some pushback we would get when we would talk in war language. So this was, um, we kind of start the book with this now viral statement that skillet frontman John Cooper made at Winter Jam when he mm -hmm. said, it's time to declare war on the idolatrous deconstructed Christian movement. Mm -hmm. And what I think that revealed at the time was that Christians were defining deconstruction in really different ways. Because mm -hmm. for those of us who understood it like John understood it, as this thing that robs your faith, mm -hmm. we were like, yes, John, you know, that's great. But then for people who were defining it just as simply engaging your doubts mm -hmm. or asking hard questions, they were like, yeah. why are you so mad at me? I'm, I'm asking questions. I want to know what's true. So I think that's where we were trying to explain, like, we're not mad at people who right. are confused. We're mad at the lie. Yeah. You're like a, a surgeon who's aggressively removing any signs of cancer. That's right. You're not doing it to hurt the patient. You're right. doing it because you want to help the patient. Right. If you cut somebody's chest open yeah. and you're not a doctor and there's no purpose, then <laughs> yeah. you're harming that person. Yeah. But if you're a doctor and you have a scalpel and you're trying to remove disease, yeah. then it's, it's still the same instrument, mm -hmm. but it's used it's for good or evil. Yeah. yeah, that's right.